Are you preparing for IELTS exam and would like to know what is a good IELTS score? If so, then this video is for you. Because in this video, we will tell you what the IELTS band score are, what do they mean, and how much score you require for admission in an overseas course. But before that, please like this video, share this with your friends, and do subscribe to our YouTube channel. IELTS is a popular English language proficiency test, which is used by candidates to secure admission in higher education in overseas colleges. This test works in countries like USA, UK, Canada, and even Australia, and many more other countries. This test is also used as the English language proficiency test before giving the permanent residency or the PR in the countries where the native language is English. IELTS scores are calculated on a scale of 1 to 9. And once you understand how the IELTS score is calculated, probably then you can also understand what is a good IELTS score. Different levels of IELTS score, which are also called IELTS band, define the kind of expertise you have in the English language. It demonstrates how much you understand English as a language in terms of speaking, writing, reading and listening. And as you see on the screen, zero marks or the zero band score in IELTS exam suggests that you did not attempt the test. One is for non-user, two is for intermittent English language proficiency. 3 is for extremely limited user in English language, 4 is for limited user, 5 is for modest user, 6 is for competent user, 7 as I told you earlier is for good users, 8 for very good and 9 for an expert one. As you know IELTS score is calculated on a scale of 0 to 9. IELTS overall band score is calculated by taking the mean score of all the sections like speaking, listening, reading, and writing. The score for each section is weighted equally. The candidate's overall band score is rounded to the nearest half or the nearest whole band score. For example, if your average overall band score is 6.75, then it will get rounded off to 7. In case if your overall score is an average of 6.25, then it will increase to 6.5. And if your overall average score is 6.1, then it will decrease to a score of 6. And now for your proper understanding, let's discuss all kind of bands in a little bit detail. As I told you, 9 IELTS band score means that you are an expert of English language. You use the English language fluently and accurately. 8 which tells the skill level is very good means that you are a very good user and have operational command of the English language. But you may misunderstand in some unfamiliar situations. 7 is a good score which means that you are a good user and have a good command on English language with occasional inaccuracies. 6 is for competent user. This means that you are a competent user of English language and have an effective command of the language with some inaccuracies and inappropriate usage in certain situations. 5 is for a modest user. It means that you are a modest user of English language and have partial command on the language and you can understand basic communication in your field. In case you have secured 4 in the IELTS exam, this means you are a limited user and can only understand English in familiar situations. A score of 3 means you are an extremely limited user. You will have breakdowns in communication and you understand only the general meaning in very familiar situations. The person with a score of 2 is an intermittent user of English language. This means that the test taker has great difficulty in understanding spoken and written English both. The person who secures 1 is probably a non-user of the English language. And this means that the test taker cannot use the English language except for a few isolated words. And if someone has secured a zero in IELTS exam, that simply means that the test taker did not answer any question in the exam. Now, what is a good IELTS score? This is very important to know because this will tell you whether you will get admission in the desired university or not. Every country has IELTS cutoff according to their academic requirements. Top universities in the USA like Harvard and Stanford take an average IELTS score of seven or more. Similarly, universities in UK like Oxford and Cambridge take an IELTS score of 7.5 or more. To get into the top universities of Canada and Australia, you require an IELTS score of 6.5 or 7 or more. One question that might pop up in your mind is what is the validity of IELTS score? 
then I would like to tell you that the validity of an IELTS score once taken is of two years. However, it is also up to the university to set up a validity of the IELTS score as per their requirement. Now I hope that you understand what is an IELTS score, what are good IELTS scores, how are IELTS scores calculated and which kind of countries and which kind of universities take what kind of IELTS scores. In case you want to share the feedback on this video and you have more questions on IELTS or anything related to overseas studying, do drop in your thoughts in the comment section below. And please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.